Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Corey Johnson, and welcome to Relationship Management. Today's topic is going to be about the Great Depression. A lot of women have been the reason why I have developed depression because these sisters out here these days, they act like they don't want to see me with happiness. And it'd be a lot of ladies that are single that would tell me no. Even if I have been knowing the woman for months, many months, or many years, she would still say no. That, you know, she don't want to be my woman, my wife. She don't want to be my wife. She don't want to give me love. You know, and I'm just constantly making a fool out of myself, pouring out my heart because I'm just not getting it that whenever a woman mind is made up when she don't love you, she will tell you. And I'm just, you know, speaking to a lot of men in this world that if a lady tell you no, she don't love you, you just have to give up. You have to throw, throw in the white tile. You have to literally give up. Because you can't make a woman love you if she don't love you. You know, and it has happened to me more than once where I would fall in love with the lady and a woman have to keep telling me she don't want me, if she don't love me, you know. And I did that to myself. I made myself look like an ass and feel like a fool, you know. And um, I would like to apologize to the women, you know what I mean, that I have not given up. I try to write you letters in a way and I tell you how much I love you and want you to be my wife. I apologize. I'm very sorry from trying to convince you that I love you. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry and it's never going to happen again. If a woman tell me she don't love me that way or if she don't or if, she, if a woman say she only wants to be my friend well I'm gonna respect that you know but it has cost me you know a great deal of depression you know knowing that a woman don't want me uh, or don't love me you know it's very painful you know Whenever you fall in love with a woman and she tell you she don't love you. You know, and you be in a situation where you come out looking stupid. You know what I mean? Or feeling like a fool. Well, you can't blame the woman. You have to blame yourself for that. So I'm taking responsibility and I'm holding myself for making myself be a dummy you're still chasing I, I've had this problem chasing behind women that don't fucking love me and don't want me so I owe my own self an apology from being an idiot and I apologize to every woman for trying to give you my heart and trying to love you knowing that you don't love me you know, I've had situations like this with ladies I have never met in real life. And I'll, you know, just do what a man have to do, it, such as to talk to the woman and, you know, to let a woman know how I feel or how they, you know. And next thing you know, the lady just tells me, no, she only want to be friends. Some ladies don't put you in the friend zone. That's a difference. 
when you whenever you are lovers to a, to a woman and then if she puts you in the friend zone and says she want to be friend that's when you get put in the friend zone but some ladies they just want to be friends from the beginning if you tell these ladies hey I want to I want to be your husband I want to marry you I will pay for your ticket to come here you don't have to work I would buy you anything you want and give you a lounge. I love you that much because you are different. I love your personality. You never leave me on red like how the other women do. You really do genuinely care and it's hard for me to find a woman with that kind of a soul that you got. And then a the lady will still say, I just want to be your friend. She will still tell me that anyway. You know, and, and I know I'm not going to find no other woman like that, that had that kind of soul, because she had this uniqueness. So that's where the Great Depression comes in, you understand? Because I'm not finding that in no other woman. And it breaks my heart that she don't love me. There are lots of ladies out there that don't want a man with happiness. They don't want to give men like me a chance to be able to hold him. You don't want to give me a chance to, to hold you in my arms. You don't want to give me a chance to be in love and to have someone in my life that cares. You don't want me to have that type of a happiness. Me waking up looking at your beautiful face. You don't want me with that. You want me to be miserable. You want me to suffer with misery. You don't care about my feelings. A lot of these ladies don't care about a man's feeling. I'm going to say it again. Even if they are single, you have a lot of single ladies that will say, no, I only want to be your friend. And no matter how many times you try to pull out your heart, they just not get, they just don't want you what happiness and that's the only thing a woman is telling me Corey I don't want you with happiness and I'm more than sure a lot of gentlemen out there is going through the same thing that I'm going through you know these women out here these days they just don't care they don't care at all You know, so that's, that's one option left. It's just to stop bagging these ladies. Stop stop asking. Don't, don't even inbox them and don't tell them nothing. Don't tell them that you like them no more because they don't want, they don't want to bring happiness up in your life. They don't want to make a difference up in your life. They don't care. These ladies just don't care. But um, but that's okay though, because a woman can be replaced with robots. Japan, China, they have made these robots that look just like human beings, got the real skin and everything. You understand? And they are smart, they're intelligent. They talk to you by anything. It'd be like you're talking to a real woman. They make luck to you and everything. And they have self-lubricant. And the body get warm and the skin, the flesh feel real. And they have the senses on them. They can tell if you're sad. They can tell if you're happy. And they answer any question that you ask them. And they talk to you regularly. It would be like you're literally having conversations with a real human being. And you will never have to worry about... Her rejecting you from the art of making love. Because a lot of gentlemen are going through that type of a hatred from ladies these days. A woman always telling man no, that they can't have an affair with them or no intimacy. They will tell a man no a lot. And a lot of men all over the world, they suffer. And a lot of these ladies 
are not right. A lot of them are mean. A lot of ladies are cruel. I mean, you have cruelty up in your heart. A lot of ladies are rude. You know, some ladies, they are a witch. You know, it could be a witch or a low down dirty witch. You know, every time you want to make love to her, she would tell you no. She would deprive you a lot. And that's called being a witch. You know? So my advice is, if you don't want the Great Depression, if you don't want to wind up catching a heart attack, stop asking ladies out. Just don't ask. Just don't ask no more. Because too many heart attacks can easily turn to a cardiac arrest. That means you won't have a chance for survival at all. You know, so my suggestion is, is to invest in an AI robot since women keep acting like they don't want us. And since ladies keep on mistreating us, we need to replace them with some fucking robots. And that's just the bottom line. God has answered our prayers. That's why he has allowed technology of these AI companion robots. You know? Because um, these women these days, they don't want us men to be blessed. they rather us to be stressed. They want to take away their love and affection and comfort away from us. They don't, like I say again, women don't care about us. They don't care. They don't want us with nothing. These ladies these days, they don't want a man with happiness. They don't want a man to experience that beautiful feeling with the art of making love. They are selfish and self-centered. They do not care about us. Just like the song Michael Jackson says. You know? They don't really care about us. And that is the God honest truth. Women don't care about us. They don't. So if you are single, don't ask no women out, never again. Don't ask for their phone number, no nothing. Don't even smile at them. If you go in somewhere, don't smile unless she smile. You let her make a first move. If a woman act like she don't see you, act like you don't see her. If she don't if a woman don't speak to you first, don't speak to her. I always said I make a move first. If a woman lick you up in your face with a straight face, you look her in her face with a straight face. If she don't say nothing to you, don't say nothing to her. If she smile at you, then you smile. I always be the second and let a woman be first place. If a woman don't ask you out, don't ask her out. If a woman don't ask for your phone number, don't ask for her phone number. If a woman don't give you no signs that she like you, don't give her no signs that you like her. That means mind your business. Don't violate no don't don't um volunteer no information. Stop being weak and needy speaking to a woman. Every time turn around, you're speaking. No. Let a woman speak to you first. Let a woman always be first. Know why? Because ladies are first. And that's pertaining to this matter too. You understand? A woman knows what she wants. You give a woman that responsibility to tell you, hey, give me your phone number and I would like us to talk sometime. You let that be. But if she don't volunteer that information, don't you volunteer information. Don't say nothing. Because if you do, you're going to wind up suffering with a great depression, especially after she tell you no, and you wind up catching a heart attack. The more you keep on asking these ladies and they keep telling you no, the more no's will give you a heart attack. Next thing you know, that heart attack can turn into a cardiac arrest. You guys have a good one, and I approve this message.